Today is a travel day. Let's go. Nothing like getting stopped at security again. Welcome to Denver, Colorado. Woo. Okay, so the reason I came to Denver for one full day, today being a travel day, tomorrow being the full day, and Saturday being the day that I'm leaving back to Philadelphia, is because we, and by we I mean Nerd Street Gamers, have something that we've been working on for a very long time, and we are very, very excited about it. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday here in Denver, Colorado. I'm Alex, Surf Skralix with NSG TV. And in case you guys didn't get it in the intro, we've been working on something for a very long time, something huge. I mean, hold on, my shoes knotted. We've been working on something for a very long time here at Nursery Gamers, and that is to bring the ability to game to as many people in as many places across the country. And this is a big weekend in particular because we have officially opened up the doors, or today we're officially opening up the doors, it's the ribbon cutting ceremony, to local host Denver in Denver, Colorado. Why is this one not a two? It's gonna have virtual reality, PC gaming, console gaming, card games, plethora of Nerd Street and local host swag that you guys can buy, streaming boots, and much, much more. But so when I said I was here for one day, today is that one day. It is Friday morning right now. I'm just getting ready to head over. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited for you guys to see what we've been able to create, what the guys here in Denver, what the guys in Philly have been able to create here. And this is literally only the beginning. Let's go see if we can get John. I'm excited, we gotta get there, come on. No way, what, what'd he say? You heard about Emmanuel Sanders and he's a little bit worried uh, we're talking to the avalanche. <laughs> so just wanna check in and make sure we're uh, staying in line. Awesome, man. John's looking very nice as you guys can see. We're gonna head over to the venue right now. So uh, here we go. People are starting to show up. The lady with the ribbon is over there. Do you see the, those huge scissors? I, I asked her if I could like, you know, use them, but I think we are getting started. There's people setting up on the PCs and the consoles over there. I'm on this very nice couch here. We got Shroud up on the big screen. But yeah, so it's very exciting. Everything's finally coming together. Uh, we're just about to get started. The ribbon cutting ceremony is happening right now. Hey everybody, thank you for coming out to Localhost Denver. This is our second arena and I'm, I'm really grateful that everybody's here to celebrate the opening with us. For those of you that don't know, this is a facility for competitive gamers. That means just like you grew up playing basketball in a local tournament, playing soccer in your local league, we are going to create those same types of opportunities here for gamers. Over the next year, we're going to activate youth summer camps, uh, local high school competitive leagues, collegiate leagues with the local universities, and we'll be throwing national scale tournaments that bring in people from all over the country, here to Denver, here to Lakewood, to compete in these tournaments. We're really excited to be here in Lakewood, and we're incredibly grateful for all the help and all the community that's come out to support us. Just wanna say thank you again to everybody. 
for what's going on behind these doors is incredible. Incredibly unique and catalytic for our community. And so when we hear about this vision of allowing people to come in, get to know one another, that's building community, that's incredibly important. But further than that, we're gonna allow kids an opportunity who may not have access to this, this sort of thing. That's big, that means so much to the city of Lakewood. So we're thrilled, we're honored, we struck gold, I think, by having this here. We look, look forward to a great partnership for years to come. We wanna continue to make sure that you thrive and succeed, and we're gonna be here every step of the way. Thank you for coming out, we appreciate yeah. it. Thank Round you. of applause for them. And there you go guys, local host Denver is officially open. So coincidentally enough, the opening, the grand opening of local host Denver coincided with the launch day for Super Smash Bros. So we have this brand new entertainment setup system right here. And that's right now what I'm working on doing because Super Smash is what I want to play. The cool thing about local hosts, both in Philadelphia and Denver right now are, you don't have to own a console or a PC to come and play the games you want to play. So, today being Super Smash release day, I am playing on a Nintendo Switch. If I wanted to play Battlefield 5 on a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro at that, I could walk right over there and do so. If I wanted to play it on Xbox, I could play it on Xbox. Or if I wanted to play Battlefield 5 or Counter-Strike or any PC-specific game, I could just as easily walk right over there and play on any PC I want. But for now, I am setting up Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch. And if you're someone who's a fan of tabletop games, these beautiful tables right here We'll help you out. When I say tabletop games, I mean D&D, &D, Magic. So if you're a DM, feel free to reach out. And additionally, what I haven't shared with you guys yet is gaming isn't the only thing that you guys can do here. One of the plans that we have for local hosts is to build soundproof studios where gamers, streamers can have a setup to stream to twitch.tv, Mixer, what have you. So we're not just making gaming accessible to everybody. We want to make streaming accessible to everybody as well. Hey Ryan. Hey Alex. How you doing buddy? Doing good. So uh, guys, if you don't know, this is Ryan. He's very important here at NSG. Congratulations. Thank you. On achieving one of your dreams. Yeah, absolutely. Joel, congratulations as well. Hey, thanks dude. These guys are part of the Denver team for uh, Nerd Street Gamers. Yeah. Um, so tell me, I mean, what, what's this day mean to you? It's been a long time coming. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm exhausted. I'm sure Joel's exhausted too. Are you uh, exhausted, Joel? Our whole team is. Everyone yeah. put in a lot of hard work. We're finally, finally ready to let's see it pay off. It's exciting, right? Like, geez. So, tell, so, kind of tell me here. Here, you know what? You scoot over a little bit. You come here, Joel. I'll get both of you guys in here. Here, let me here. make some room for you guys. All right, perfect. So, together, you two and there are a few others here that really kind of spearheaded this project. Yep. Um, you guys have done a fantastic job. Thank you. Um, us and Philly are. Very proud. What kind of work went into this? I mean, explain to everybody the kind of work that, yes, went into this, uh, making this pro possible. How do we start? I guess months of planning, months of planning, months of argument. Yep. That's uh, gonna happen, but uh, we have an awesome team and everyone knows what exactly we have to do. Uh, and it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Yep. Uh, elbow grease. Everyone put in their own bit of effort to see this happen. Cool. Yep. Cool. We, we tore up the floor, we got that completely replaced, we refixed all the walls, we painted. We brought in all the computers, we have, we have 96, we have 24 more to go, uh, and we have a few extras just in case something goes wrong. Uh, and we did a ton of networking, and yeah, and we launched. 
Yes. We did. It, it, I made it sound super, super simple. That's mainly because it was, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what kind of what kind of events do you guys plan on running here? All of them. All, all of the them. events. All wow. of them. One thing that I'm sure you guys, when you guys hear land centers, you guys hear esports arenas, the console gaming, the PC gaming, we're even going to have virtual reality spots um, and streaming stations eventually. That's all really first to come to mind. But one thing that I think is really cool about this is the tables that I showed you guys earlier over there. <laughs> um, explain to the camera yeah. and everybody watching uh, what the tables are, because to me, that's pretty unique for a, a land center to have that. Yeah, so especially here in Denver, we have a lot of people who play Dungeons and Dragons or Hero Clicks, uh, and they go to local coffee shops, and they will be, they'll just take over a small table, and they'll do their campaign there. We want to make sure we took care of them as well, because they're gamers. So uh, we, we've got these ultimate gaming tables. Uh, they're custom built to cater to the needs of people who do tabletop RPGs, um, and they can come hang out and play here. So for you PAX Unplugged fans, this is your spot. We want to focus a lot on like high school tournaments and collegiate tournaments. Um, we plan to work with partners externally to bring them in and have them use the venue. Um, you know, we're multi-use, so whether it be video games or tabletop games or card games, console games, whatever, uh, we can do it all. So, excited. For me, I, I'm interested in lock-ins. Playing, uh, going to lands as a kid, playing Counter-Strike, things like that. That's how I was able to network and really enjoy myself. And knowing we can offer it here, log in, play some VR, whether it's Fortnite, PUBG, or even the new Counter-Strike, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't be able to offer that. Oh. Hey, no, I'm that guy, silly. No. No, you switched, actually. You're Kirby now. I'm, I'm you're, Samus. You're Yoshi. You're Yoshi. I'm going to make sure James doesn't have a chance to win against <laughs> a small child. James, I wouldn't have a chance I just anyway. To say, I just want to say congratulations. Thanks a lot, Alex. This is, you've done, a, you've done, a, done a an lot amazing of effort, job. A lot of effort, so. but it's, it's really cool to see it. Mm -hmm. Can you see that back there? That is insane. 18,000 square feet of esports goodness. Another Denver guy, and he did an amazing job. <laughs> as, as you would say on my stream, dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. I don't have anybody to get a picture with, so let's just do it ourselves. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by the vlog. It was really exciting showing you all what Nursery Gamers has worked on so tirelessly over the past several weeks, months, and even years. It's something very special that we have built here, and it's amazing to be able to share it with you guys and the city of Lakewood and the city of Denver, Colorado. It's been a very long but exciting day, nonetheless, and I really haven't had a chance to sit down and play video games, so I'm going to relax for the next several hours sit back and play some games with the team. So, guys, thank you so much for coming by again. As always, I'm Alex, Sir Skralix with NSG TV, and I'll see you in the next one.